Hello Second Lifers, welcome back to another video. My name is Ali Asal. I am here to do another quick tutorial. I know there is still some confusion about Lelutka Evolution Classic skins versus Lelutka Evolution X skins. So in a short line, the difference is that Evolution X allows for higher definition in skins, which means it was an upgrade in that perspective. If you are interested and wanna know more in depth of it, I have a link to a blog for you guys to take a look at in your own time. But my main priority is to help you understand how to know which one is a classic and which one is an Evolution X skin, how to apply your skin and where to find the skin for your mesh body to match. So let's go. So the way to know if you are buying a classic skin or an Evo X skin is you make sure you look at the ad. <laughs> it's that easy. The ad for your skin will tell you directly if it's for Evo X, classic, or sometimes even both. So you found a skin you fell in love with and it's a classic. Great. Let's go see how you can apply it to your head. Generally in a skin folder, you will find your skins, obviously, <laughs> but sometimes they throw in skins without eyebrows if you wish to purchase your own. They have makeup, neck faders, etc. Some creators even go as far as giving the shape that you see on the ad for you to wear and others sell it separately. But the huge distinction is that with classic skins, you don't have a separate ear skin layer. And I'll show you that when we get to the Evo X skin. Okay, in order to wear your skin, I need you to have your Lelutka HUD on your screen. Make sure you click on it and it'll open the strip. Once you do, the very first button down below is going to be this little white face here and you need to click on it. It will say head. There is going to be two buttons right under the ad or the model's face and it says Evo and the other button says Evo. Evo X. Since we are going to wear a classic skin, you want to click on Evo and leave it highlighted. So now I'm going to go into my folder and just randomly pick one of these um, skin layers and add it. I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to add it. And voila! I'm not going to use this shape specifically because I don't think it's going to be very flattering to my head. That's a whole other topic on how to choose shapes for your specific head. So just with this simple explanation, I'm pretty sure you already figured out how to do the Evo X skin and how to wear it, but we're going to continue with it anyway. Okay, so I have the Gabby skin from Glamifair that I am currently using at the moment. So I'm going to click the Evo X button and you're going to look all kinds of crazy again, but don't worry, we are going to do the exact same thing like we did with the Evo skin. I'm going to add, ta-da! <laughs> but I did mention there was a huge distinction from the classic skins and the X skins and that is that you have a separate skin layer for your ears. So you notice that they are still gray. You are going to either add it or double click on it. I just double clicked on it. It's fine that your face goes gray again while it applies and there you go. And that is how you wear a classic skin and an Evo X skin. If you remember, I told you that I left my Evo classic skin just to show you something. Just because I'm wearing the classic skin doesn't mean that it's going, once you click on Evo classic, you're gonna see the other skin. That's not the case. Um, I'm under worn and you can see that I'm wearing the classic skin skin here, but you have to kind of, re you have to reapply again. So all you have to do is go back to whichever skin you have that is a classic and wear it all over again. So that happens with the classic skins, but with the Evo X skins, with the Evo X skins, sometimes they actually do stay and sometimes they don't. It depends on when you wear it. But either way, you already know how to apply them and take them off. The other question I have been getting is about the body skins, where to find them to match your brand new skin. You will find them the majority of the time at the store where you purchased your skin. They have a section just for the body skins. You choose carefully reading the body you are wearing, Maitreya, Legacy, etc. And read the name of the head skin to match them. If you can't find them at the store, it is more likely that they're 
their skins are in collaboration with another skin store. A perfect example are the great skins from Velour. There is a lot of stores that are collaborating with their body skits. They will tell you though in their ads that they are compatible with the Velour skins and most of the time they leave a landmark for you for easy finding just like in this note card. Okay that's it for me. I hope this helps one of you and you can pay it forward for those that need help by sending them a link to this video and to your friends. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I also left the link to the full tutorial of the Lelutka head and its hut for more information in the description box. Have a very happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, stay safe, and see you soon. Bye-bye!